Alright, so this will be our first try at doing an unboxing video for the Nomad Salient Zons. Not my first picker remote, but the only ones that happen to be in stock. So, standard box, get to the good bits. Uh, these are not included, that's from my friend gave those to me. So the new box, I guess it's the old box, but it has the new bases. There's no base extensions now. Which, you can see these ones if I grab my gecko. Bases are quite a bit bigger. Um, I'm assuming if you were to buy the geckos now, they'd probably come on this base instead. So there's that. Leave my complaint code out. We've got two of these little things. These are the exact same as far as I can tell. They have both got the two little nubs on the side for the combi weapons. Uh, well, combi guns. And that's the main piece. I've already cleaned off the flash on these. But they, they, these ones came very, very clean. I, you can see some scratching I did there, but that's mostly just for the sake of doing it. The leg piece is here. They've got a little connector piece there. There's a bit of flashing along the edges. You can still see some in the gaps. Um, but they just rest on these points here. And we'll zoom back out. You'll want to clean this part out here. But they just sit like so. And even the thing that's impressive is even on their own, they still sit pretty well. And then that little piece there sits like so. So they're really easy to make. Um, I'm doing this video so that I can do, finish the unboxing and then I can build them. So they come with two different sets of legs. Eh, oh well. One's more angular, uh, one's more of a perfect cross. And then they sit like so. So that's the other one. But these were loose in the box. The other... Let's get these out of here. The bag of goodies here. This is the fun part. So you've got this piece for something. Um, these came with quite a lot of flash on them. I've already cleaned everything here. Um, so they won't, they'll come on sprues and little things. But these are the baggage. I'm assuming things give you 20 extra points. that say Evo repeater and different things like that in the artwork. These here have a little notch in each side. That these fit really well into if you know what you're doing off the camera. So they can just sit like that, make sure you have them lined up right. And then this piece, I had to do a little bit of filing, you can see on the front there. But it sits, also you gotta file, make sure you get this part flat. I had a um, injection port there, and another one right there, and then I filed the rest of this off while I was watching a game. We weren't able to stream it, we were streaming in 40k at the day, or at the time, but Sits like that, really straightforward. Um, I don't know if anything else goes in front of it. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure. Based on the artwork, maybe something goes in front of it? I don't know. I'll figure it out. So you've got that. Um, this piece, I don't know what this goes to. I'm going to look up how these things are supposed to go together and figure out where this goes. But you get one of those. Um, you get basically four of these that are the exact same. They've got the diamond on the back so you can set them all in. You've got one of these, um, which really looks like unit. Let's see if I can get that to zoom in. No? Okay, it doesn't want to zoom in. There we go. It looks like a head from Evangelion. And I'm not quite sure where it's supposed to go, but it looks like Unit 1. <laughs> so, you've got that head there. Um, you've got another head. Maybe these are... Oh, these go underneath the heads. I get it now. So, I was looking at the artwork. There's a little round nub right there 
these sit right in there. So you got little Evangelion heads on the bottom of your uh, remotes. There's two of those. You also have two of these, which are the Evo repeaters. The little things that go out so that you can make all sorts of things. And then these were obviously on a sprue. Um, they're so tiny. But you get two little combi rifles, and these things are itsy bitsy. Of course, itsy bitsy being a technical term. Oops. So you get two of these. They're they have little holes in the sides. Those little holes sit on those nubs there. So that when you're building it, you can have the combi rifles or HMGs if it's a full action remote or whatever you want it to be. If, of course, proxying is totally not a thing, but you know. And that's basically the Salyuzons. So those are all the bits that come in it. Like I said, I cleaned up mine already before I did this review. Um, there wasn't... On the main part, there's the typical flash we're dealing with metal models. These had quite a lot of flash. I'm guessing it's because it's such a big chunk of metal. When they're pouring it, the metal itself will move around in the mold and create more mold lines. But some of the finer things, like this one, had almost no mold on it, except for on the bottom where they poured it in. So, there's the pieces. We'll put it together and see what they look like. I'm going to start by basing these guys with some brown earth. I got this from the Angel Geraldus Masterclass Volume 1. The first base I used a bit of stippling so it doesn't have much height to the texture. The second one I just wanted to try globbing it on. I don't need this brush anyway. Plus by doing it this way I got a lot more smooth textures because I'm basically using the whole brush to move the putty around. Starting with the legs, make sure that you've cleaned out that groove on the back so that they sit flush. Also remember that those big parts on the leg, that's the front of the model. Also remember with the Evo repeater for this part, it needs to sit flush. Use a file if you have to. These uh, baggage compartments, remember that that front part, it actually slopes up towards the front of the model. You may want to dry fit these to make sure that there's no flash in the way. And also make sure that that diamond sits well. If I had this to do again, I'd probably shave down just that little edge so it sits more flush with the side of the model.
attaching these little antennas, it can be kind of tricky. I really wish I would have pinned these had I taken the time, but they turned out okay. A zip kicker is good, but I don't know if I would recommend it because the bond's not going to be that strong if you don't pin it. Also with that ball joint, you might want to pin that as well, just because it's really easy to tap these the wrong way and the whole top breaks off. And if you're like me, you hold it for 20 minutes instead of using Zip Kicker. gluing these little bits I've switched to Loctite. I used to use the generic glue that came in game stores and the GW kind, but a friend showed me Loctite and it seems to work a lot better for these models. Last but not least, don't forget the little head that goes on the bottom. After a little bit of drying, this one's done. And moving on to the combi rifle salient. Same as before, the armored big part of the leg goes towards the front. And the good news is I figured out what this part's for. I guess it holds the ammo for the combi guns. Again, I'd always much rather pin these, but for the sake of the video, I just used the Loctite. So far, only one's broken off.
same as before, make sure the slope goes up towards the front of the model. Did a quick dry fit. Make sure that the armored parts are towards the front. You don't want to glue on your guys' legs backwards or sideways. And I'm going a bit too fast for the video, so it starts to fall apart. Kind of wish I had zip kicker, but you can only do what you can. Still not totally dry, so I'm going to use a razor blades handle to hold up the back end while it finishes drying. Last but not least, I forgot you got to flip it over and put the head on the bottom, or whatever you call it.
let that dry and last step, glue them to their bases. A note on this Vallejo brown earth. I imagine the others are pretty much the same. But when you put a lot on it, it gives you a nice hilled effect. This one I stippled, you can see the gloss where there isn't any texture. They're both good effects, just different types. I might try using a palette knife actually for the bigger one, so I don't have to worry about stippling and get better textures. Doing a quick once over on the combi rifle salute sound. Everything looks good. My legs are in the right position. I don't have them backwards or anything. We're going to add a drop of glue to each leg, apply it, and then add a little bit more glue around the edges of the leg to make sure it has a tight bond. Having the dry fit before this is important so you make sure it sits flat. If it doesn't sit flat, just push it a little bit, make sure that it sits and the glue has a good bond. Once everything's dry, you've got two built Salyut Zons ready for the table. We'll go ahead and throw the links below for all the tools and things I used. If you have any unboxing videos you want to see done, uh, get, send us a message or comment and I can see about doing another one for you. We also play games on Twitch, so I'll put the full battle reports up here if you want to learn how to play some of these new games like Infinity, Drop Zone, and if you're new to 40k, then 40k too. Thanks guys. See you next time.